again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 31st of January, 2019. Just read an interesting article put up by Press TV. This was published on October the 30th, 2017. Title: CIA assassinated JFK, Robert Kennedy, and Martin Luther King. Writer. Now, what's interesting is the embedded video. Well file not found. Hmm? The Central Intelligence Agency, the CAA, murdered former U.S. President John F. Kennedy, his brother Robert F. Kennedy, and Martin Luther King, an American author and political analyst in Chicago, says. Stephen Lenman made the remarks in a phone interview with Press TV while commenting on the release of documents related to the assassination of former President John F. Kennedy in November 1963. On Friday night, President Donald Trump said he will release all the files related to the Kennedy assassination with some redactions in order to put any and all conspiracy theories to rest. Well, we all know how that turned out, don't we? He said he talked to White House Chief of Staff John Kelly officials at the CIA and other federal agencies about the issue. On Thursday, Trump allowed the release of about 2,800 documents related to the Kennedy murder, but delayed the publication of some quote-unquote sensitive files at the request of the CIA. Trump said that he had no choice but to withhold information as requested by the CIA, FBI, and other agencies which argued that releasing all of the JFK assassination files would jeopardize U.S. national security. The hell it would. What it would do is put a lot of those bastards where they belong in prison. Letterman said actually releasing all of the Kennedy assassination documents might jeopardize the CIA through exposing it all for having assassinated John Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King. We need to get thousands of files released on them as well, he stated. Saran Saran is still alive in prison. He had nothing to do with the killing of Bobby Kennedy. Lee Harvey also had nothing to do with the killing of Jack Kennedy. The CAA killed Jack Kennedy, Ledman said, referring to the 31st, 35th president of the United States. They also killed his son, Jr. And Kennedy was not shot twice from behind, as official reports said. He was shot at least four times. Hmm. from the front and from the back. And there was a bullet hole in the windshield of his limousine. And that was covered up rather poorly, but it was covered up, he noted. Trump only released files that were worthless, the analyst said, adding anything incriminating to say would have been eliminated. Ledman said that Oswald was set up, and then he was assassinated. He was assassinated by Jack Ruby. He was eliminated also. At the moral of the story is dead men tell no tales, he observed. Kennedy served as President of the United States from January 1961 to his assassination, November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas. The President's Commission on the Assassination of Kennedy, known unofficially as the Warren Commission, was established by former President Lyndon B. Johnson in November 1963 to investigate the assassination of JFK. Who do you think was involved in that assassination? Hmm? The Commission's final 888-page report released in September 1964 concluded that Oswald acted entirely alone in assassinating Kennedy. However, many researchers have unconvinced by the official government account and argue that Oswald was part of the conspiracy to kill the charismatic 46-year-old president. The assassination of Kennedy has been a subject of a conspiracy theory for more than 50 years. Democratic Congressman John Lewis, a friend of Kennedy, told The Hill recently that he did not believe the selected release would end questions about the former president's death. I think there will be people, be historians or scholars and writers, who would raise questions about what happened and how it happened, the 77-year-old politician said. There will be people saying, like they were saying 50 years ago, why did Kennedy go to Texas? Why Dallas? Folks, you need to really get a grip. The CIA is a criminal, dysfunctional organization. People like David Petraeus, Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State, John Brennan, Robert Mueller, Gina Haspel, Michael Hayden, 
to name but a few, all ran that criminal, dysfunctional organization. Well, it is possible that there's really two CIAs. The one that some of these folks, like Mike Pompeo, might not have known. But I don't believe that to be true. If the common people, like myself, know, based on the research that I've done, that it was done by the CIA, who ran the CIA? I just told you. Folks, there's no doubt that Saran Saran was a patsy and he's rotted for the last 50 years in a prison for something that he did not do. You know, if there was really true justice, President Donald J. Trump would look into this and pardon Saran Saran. Why do you pardon someone that never did anything? Because he was convicted of having done something that he didn't do. You might want to reach out to President Trump. You might want to ask President Trump to release those other documents on the assassination of JFK. You know, the sensitive ones that the FBI and the CIA didn't want him to release. You ever wonder why? Well, we all know why, don't we? I'll attach the link. Take a look and you'll see that that file is not found. The title below the file, John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert F. Kennedy. But again, the file had been removed. It's part of the scrubbing process. Why do you think Google and YouTube and the rest of the boys are now going to punish people like me? Well, they already have punished people like me. But they're going to go after anybody that talks against the official government narrative, which we all know are nothing but lies. Problem is, who are you going to go to? There is no one to go to, is there? You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Ask him to look into pardoning Saran Saran for something he didn't do. Thanks for listening.